Welcome to part 8 of the AutoCAD Inventor LT Suite video series. In part 8 we're going to talk about utilizing geometry from other CAD packages. What's that you say? There's other CAD packages out there? Well if this is the first time you're hearing that uh, I'm, I'm sorry to have to tell you but there are other CAD packages out there. And the one that we're going to talk about today uh, in this particular example is utilizing native SOLIDWORKS part files to be able to document those designs in 2D. And we'll even make a couple changes to the 3D model as well right here in Inventor LT. So as you saw in the open file dialog box I simply changed the files of type and that was a pretty long list. And in this example I chose the SOLIDWORKS part file, browsed to where my, uh, my SOLIDWORKS file was and opened it up. So in this particular example, this, this design's pretty complete, so I don't have to do too much to it. But if there's a chance that I need to make a modification to it, add a, uh, some level of detail to it um, that, that maybe didn't originally come across from the person that gave me the file. So for example here, I want to go ahead and place a, a tapped hole here so that the tapped hole gets documented over in my 2D drawing when I make a native DWG out of this. So just simply go through my whole dialog box, tell it's going to be a tapped hole, give it the information that it needs, and you can see that you know bouncing back and forth between grabbing information from the model and putting additional information in the whole dialog is really easy to use. So now that I've added the level of detail to this particular design that I want, I want to document it in 2D. And that's really the key play here uh, with, with Inventor LT in this situation. Um, we're not suggesting that you open up uh, CAD files from, from other uh, 3D CAD files from other uh, 3D applications and be able to you know manipulate them. That's that's something that you're going to look at in, in, in Inventor Fusion for. But here in this particular example, if I'm an OEM, if I'm a, a, a job shop or something, and I want to be able to say, you know, I don't want a seat of SolidWorks. I don't want a seat of UG, UGSNX or CATIA. I want to be able to work with those and document those designs in 2D, so I don't have to redraw those uh, the 2D representation of those manually. So here as you can see I, I brought in that SOLIDWORKS part file into an uh, Inventor DWG and now I'm documenting that 3D SOLIDWORKS file in 2D native DWG. Here in Inventor LT I simply tell it to give me a front, a side, a back, I grab my hole and thread note, but really what we're trying to do here is speed up your 2D documentation of 3D models that you may get from a, a other CAD sources and so that you don't have to ask people to can you save that off as a SAT file for me that's an additional operation to where they may not have the ability to translate that out to a neutral file format just so that you can document these in 2D. Now let's have a quick look at what we can do with some of the other CAD files available so in this example I'm gonna go ahead and call up a CATIA part file so again I'll just go to my Inventor LT open file dialog box choose uh, CATIA v5 part file and open up this file again natively. I'm not asking anybody to translate this for me. So as you can see the, uh, the, the solid comes across. Now what if I want to add some material to it? So if I want, if I'm Acme Plastics and they're going to ask me to uh, um, you know to run this through mold flow or something like that um, and I want to go ahead and, and include my stamp on the back of this. It's really nothing that the uh, that the end user will see. It's just something that I like to do on all my parts. So I'm going to go ahead and put my brand, if you will, on somebody else's part. And, and, and as you can see, just by utilizing the emboss command, it'll take and place that text. Even though it's it's a it's an irregular surface from another CAD application, no big deal. We're just going to go ahead and use the emboss tool to to add my brand, if you will. And just as I did before, I'll go ahead and uh, and, and document this in 2D. So now one of the things that you notice the preview didn't come across, so I have the ability to say give me a custom view of this and that way the view orientation when I place it on the sheet is exactly the way I want it to be. So I'll place a front, a top, an isometric. Um, I like to shade the isometric views. I think it, it, it really comes across pretty nicely. Now it's a little small on the sheet here, and if I move move these these around, uh, what if I grab the wrong scale? No big deal. You just go in, double click, edit the view, and now having to do that in AutoCAD LT, that would be a little bit more difficult. But here you simply say, um, yes, it's at one scale, but now I want it to be at another. 
Now, this section view that I'm about to draw here, uh, you know, if I section the whole thing out, it's going to give me that 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 curve there, and I I really want it to be just you know a, a a zero depth or a specific depth of that section, so it doesn't give me all that additional interference that I would have to turn off lines and such just to give me the section that I want. Now I drew the section line in the wrong part, so let me just move it over, and you'll notice how it automatically then updates the view based upon the position of your section line. The 2D drafting capabilities in Inventor LT are absolutely tremendous. It doesn't necessarily matter if you're trying to document 3D files that you receive from SolidWorks or Katia. You can see here we can document those 3D designs in native 2D DWG.